one recommendation from someone can change your entire life in seconds, literally. Hi, hi. You're welcome to my channel. I'll be taking a moment to reflect on how my last year was spent or, or I'm putting it as last year, but still this year was spent because we'll be entering into a new year soon. And I want to reflect on the journey thus far or the journey this far. It has been a roller coaster of emotions, achievement and unmet expectation. So stick around. I'll be sharing valuable insights that might resonate with you. Who knows? Well, let me talk about achievement and unmet expectation. This year, one of my goals was to start a YouTube channel. Guess what? You guys made it happen. Thank you so much for liking. Thank you for so much for sharing and for subscribing to my channel. Glad I'm, I did start a YouTube channel and stepping out of my comfort zone because trust me, I think I had the fear of facing the cameras and I don't know, but I'm glad I did. And putting myself out there has been beneficial to me because now talking to you, listening to me, or talking to people around the world has really been something I love doing now and I'm passionate about doing. So please keep on liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much. Number two, let me talk about unmet expectation. This year, one of my goals was that love will find me or I will find love. And guess what? That didn't happen, but we move. No sad story. We move, we move, we move. Number three, moving out of my own country, but that goal has not been met yet. Sadly, right? But I'm here. And life has a way of doing its things. You know, sometimes things doesn't really go the way plan, right? But God is a master planner. God has everything planned out. Probably if it's not happening now, it's going to happen soon. Absolutely, it will happen in God's time. So there's no rush in life and there's no competition. Now, let me share with you three profound lessons that this year taught me. The first one is be deliberate about friendship. Always remember quality over quantity quality over quantity and this one thing i was grateful that this year i was very deliberate about i selected every of my friends if i see that you're not going to be valuable to me or you're going to stress me mentally please i hit the block button and i'm unapologetical about it i owe you no reasons why um either not communicating with you i won't make it obvious i'll just slowly just let go of the relationship your mental health or your well-being matters a lot you have to put yourself in a good space and if the association you have right now are not going to help you please cut them off number two family first hmm. This will not be overemphasized. Family force. I will not. I can't even flog this enough. This chaotic era of life. There's one thing. This year has revealed outrightly to me. Family first. Your family got you in good times, in bad times. Your family got you. Whether you're broke or you're rich, your family got you. I know some people are not really from elderly family. But if you are from an elderly family, please, family first. This year, my family has been a tremendous source of support, both physically, mentally, emotionally, and financially. And I'm so grateful to have them as my go-to any day, anytime. Number three, don't be afraid to face your fears and to do things alone. Don't be afraid to start things. Don't be afraid. Don't feel like, oh, nobody is doing this. What if it doesn't work? What if it works? Please start. Even if it doesn't work, you've learned. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Okay, for example, what if I didn't start a YouTube channel? Okay, yes, what if I started and 
it didn't work yes i started what if i started the business and it didn't work because yeah this year i also started a business but the business didn't really you know didn't hit, really win the jackpot uh, didn't really get to the level where i wanted it to get to. but do i have any regrets no right but i'm glad i started throw out fear into the bin in fact there's something my mom usually says <laughs> my mom said be the fear like be the fear yourself because if you are the fear it means you fear nothing fear is a liar just do it do it alone you can do it you don't need to wait for anybody to support you. you don't need to wait for anybody to encourage you you can do this alone without the help of your friend or your or even your family sometimes some families don't even support people in what they're doing goals that want to achieve. some people might even discourage you when you are informing them oh i have this this milestone set out plan that i want to achieve they might be like don't do it uh, it won't work oh yeah some people that have this negative energy and yes and that's one of the things i ran away from people the moment i speak with you and i notice that you have this negative energy please just go just go it's very draining you might feel oh they are my friends it doesn't matter it's a lie the words are like seeds that have been deposited into our heart you might feel she said it right i waved it off doesn't matter but when you get back home she has placed a seed in your subconscious once in a while that thought will pop out oh grace said the business idea is not a good one mm. It might make you give a second thought. I'm not saying don't share your, your ideas or don't hear out your opinion with people, but hear out your opinion of people you feel they are trusted and people that have positive energy. Because some people are jealous about it and some people just have these negative vibes that are just not good. They are just not good. And people with this negative energy, negative vibes, they are everywhere. Because you know why? With the rates of how the economy is getting worse and with the way things are not going people's way people tend to become negative over time it might not be deliberate they just find themselves and funny what is very surprising they don't even know that they are negative or they don't even know that they speak in a negative manner or they don't even know that these things are coming out of them that's been what has eaten up into them over time and when you are close to people like that, trust me, over time, you become negative like that. So please, stay away from negative people. Now, looking ahead to the new year, I've set some new goals for my new year. And I'm looking forward to achieving it. The first is to better my prayer life. Yes. I'm going to be a prayer warrior this year. This new year, prayer warrior. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm joking. You know, life is spiritual don't get it twisted life is spiritual everything in life is spiritual everything life has to offer is being controlled first by the spiritual so this new year i'm going to be investing more in prayer because last year or this year that is about ending i invested more in reading the word and yeah i was able to read the bible within one year from january to december and i'm glad i did i was soaked in the work too this new year i'm going to be investing more time and energy into prayer and then praying for the help of the holy spirit to achieve this it might not be easy but even if it's just 20 minutes i'll try my best to put set out that time or map out that time to pray to god because i need him to steer the ship to drive the car i'm tired of doing this alone i'm tired it's frustrating <sighs> not like i've not been involving god but you sometimes feel like I'm doing this i'm doing that and i'm not really getting this kind of result i'm expecting so this new year i'm going to leave everything at his feet god please just take over i'm tired i'm tired of doing this and doing that and trying this and trying that and it sort of seemed like it's not really aligning but i know all this will finally align i pray it will finally align another of the goal is to make more connections and valuable networks this was what my last year showed me that strong network rich network not in terms of finances but having rich network is sometimes i don't know how to what skill to put it is it better than money or it should be i don't know i don't know but the right network matters a lot so this year i'm going to be very deliberate about 
where I go to, the conference I go to, the friends I meet, the people I associate myself with. I want rich network, people that can link me up to something better. Might not necessarily be them giving me money. Money is even the last because there are some friendships that are more valuable than money. One recommendation from someone can change your entire life in seconds, literally. And there's one prayer. I usually pray that God make people mention my name and my business in the right place, in the right place and at the right time. That position people that would mention my name. Connection. This new year is going to be all about connection. Valuable, rich connection. The next goal I've set for this year is to start an online business. God, just please help me in this. I God, please help me. Help me, help me, help me, God. Help me, help me, help me, God. Early this year, I started an online business. That's my virtual assistant business. Yeah, I started posting on Instagram, but it didn't really, I didn't really get clients. That's the sincere truth. I did everything I can. I went for training. I got ELX certification. I even had to pay a coach, a virtual assistant coach, to better equip me for this business. But the sad truth is that the business did not flourish. Why? I don't know. Probably I was not doing the right thing, or I just don't know why it didn't go as planned. But I'm willing to try again. I'm not tired of trying because I know one day it's going to work. As I speak with you, I have not. I have no idea of the kind of online business I'm going to start that would pay the bills and, you know, bring and make money, right? So I have no idea right now as I speak with you. So please, if you have online business idea that you feel you can propose to me, please um, do well. So send me a message or leave it in the comment section. You can email me that. Chuma, why don't you start this? online business i would sincerely appreciate it because i would really like to build an online business and i pray that god directs me and i pray that god gives me clarity in this and he would give me an idea that would be something remarkable and it will also make provision for everything the cost and everything that it will be needed rounding up this video i would like to say that sometimes this is just me being vulnerable life might not go the way we've planned my life might not go the way we've set it all out to be you know but that's the beauty of life right because sometimes if life goes the way we planned it, it might not be well equipped for better phases of life but i would like to let you know that you're not alone in this if you feel like you're still trying to find your feet if, if you are at this point where you feel like your life doesn't have a meaning, right? Or things are yet to align for you. Let me tell you, you are not alone. You're not alone in this. Keep at it. Be committed. Be consistent. If you try this way, it is not going. Please turn the right way and try. If you try this business, it is not working. And you've done your best. You've gotten a coach. You've gone for trainings and it is not working please try another business giving up is not the solution we are in the no give up era thank you so much for staying till this time i hope this video met your expectation and i'm glad i'm grateful to god that i'm in this space and i'm also grateful to you for the word of encouragement i'm so grateful for people that leave comments kind words I'm so grateful. Those comments mean the world to me. Thank you so much if you've liked my videos. Thank you so much if you've shared my videos. For those that have shared my videos, I sincerely appreciate and I pray for you from the bottom of my heart that God will grant you every of your art desires. I'm so grateful to God for having you. And if you would like to reach out to me, you can always reach out to me on Instagram or send me an email if you want to be my friend. I can. We can also... We can always try to build a connection from there. Don't forget, we talked about the right connection, right? Building valuable connections and network. I don't mind, please. I would love to be your friend if you know you have something good to offer. Because trust me, I have a lot of good things to offer. 
and i'll see you in the next video bye for now